I just picked up my Sterling Pacific cabin travel case. It's the 35 liter. I just want to go over the packaging because it's nuts. Came in this big box. Pull out that box. Figured it'd probably be in there. Cut that open. Box number three. Cut that open. Like a custom made bubble wrap. I mean, how cool is that? These guys don't mess around. And then finally, the case. And it has a nice fabric protector on it. You're gonna have to stay tuned for the review. Now that you've seen how well packaged Sterling Pacific uh, packs that travel case, let's take a, a closer look and see what all the hype's about. First, we're gonna cover some of the features of the 35 liter cabin travel case. Right here on top, you've got full 5052 aluminum case with impact bearing ridges, and this helps protect against the bumps and bruises of airline travel. On the corners, you'll see reinforced A380 aluminum corners, along with several of the SAE 304 stainless steel rivets that are individually bucked to hold these corners together. And this just provides further bump protection in all the corners. We also have A380, the same aluminum used for the wheel housings here, as well as the trolley housing, which is right around the handle here. Even the trolley itself, the fully extendable trolley is all aluminum and it is buttery smooth as you take it in and out. The handles use an Italian full grain leather and um, they are, although they don't lay flat like some other cases, they're, they're super comfortable and you've got one on that side as well as the top here and even a wrap on the extendable handle is that full grain leather. Sterling Pacific uses an extruded 6063 aluminum frame as well as full through axles, dual through axles for both these wheels. And I can say that running through the airport, these wheels perform perfectly. And it's all kept secure with a couple of TSA double combination latch locks, as you can see here. The dimensions of the travel case are 22 and a half inches in length, eight and a half inches wide, and 14 inches this way for a total volume of 35 liters, which is the maximum allowable carry-on size for most major airlines. I've used this on several trips and some of the smaller regional jets have pretty small overhead space and I found no problem with it fitting up above. Now let's take a look at the inside. First of all, it's sealed with a rubber gasket right here, which is nice. Even though it's a carry-on piece of luggage, it still gives you that sense of security and it kind of fits into this groove right here. On the interior, they use a ring spun twill weave lining, which is Feels pretty luxurious in my book. Even the um, leather patch here has the serial number embossed into it. And that matches the serial number found on the outside here that's stamped into the frame. So on the interior you have these two cross straps here with these chrome buckles which are really nice adjustable, adjustable buckles. And you have plenty of room for, I would say, oh, three to four days, maybe a week if you're going somewhere warm and all you're packing is lightweight clothing and, and shorts and flip-flops and stuff. But so far, I've used this on three and four day trips and it's been fantastic. A see-through mesh pocket located on the lid right here is good for carrying flat items. And I'll show you the little kit that comes with it. So you get this little toiletry kit from Sterling Pacific, as well as a buffing rag here, leather care wax, which is good for the handles, the manual, and a very cool aluminum ballpoint pen. 
a couple of really nice features to add to an already very high-end luxurious case. A couple of additional features that I really came to appreciate are these extended legs right here that help when it's upright, it stands. Stands nice and flat. And if you're gonna carry it in a side mount, they've got the same legs this way. So again, stands nice and upright. Sterling Pacific's done a great job with this. They seem to have uh, really thought out everything a traveler would need. Um, I like it for the bump protection. Uh, sometimes I'm carrying, you know, a laptop and a tablet and all that. So it's nice to have that kind of crush proof <laughs> exterior. Now, aluminum, it's very lightweight. The thing weighs about 11 and a half pounds. So it gives you plenty of room for additional cargo. And since it's lightweight, aluminum will scratch a little bit. I mean, you can see a couple of dings on the corner here just from putting it in the overhead compartment. But I kind of like that. It kind of gives it a, a patina overall and shows that it's used. But the highlights for me are the fact that it's a two-wheel design. It seems like every carry-on these days wants to use those, those four caster wheels. So you're kind of squirrely and carrying it upright, which I can't stand. Personally, I would take the two-wheel roll-behind design like this any day over that goofy four-wheel caster scenario where you're kind of spinning it around like this and people can't control it. Now let's talk about the price. The price is kind of no joke. It's $1,495. So it is definitely a luxury item. However, when I look down in my basement at the various carry-on bags that I own, I've probably got six to eight carry-on bags that total well more than $1,400. And if you watch uh, Sterling Pacific or follow them on Instagram or Facebook, you will occasionally see a $300 off coupon. So it is attainable, but I would highly consider it. If you're a, if you're a power traveler and you're constantly on the move, there's uh, nothing more more baller than rolling through the uh, airport or the aircraft with a Sterling Pacific travel carry case like this. Be sure to click the link in the description that takes you to the full written review on thegearbunker.com and uh, it will have more of the specs and uh, a little more opinion on the Sterling Pacific travel carry case. This is the 35 liter version. They also make an 80 liter check bag that I'm gonna look into. I usually try to travel light, but on those trips to the Caribbean where I'm bringing my dive gear, sometimes uh, it'd be nice to have a hard case to put that in. So stay tuned.